Cab Baby. It's the Cab Baby. It's the Cab Baby. It's the Cab Baby. It's the Cab Baby. I go by the name of Buddy Vegas. And we are live right now at Waterman Productions. Okay. We can get it popping in the champagne room. I pop a hundred bottles, make a champagne pool. I'm chilling at the lounge like everything cool. Say I'm known to act a donkey or a goddamn fool. Nah. I'm an artist. I perform. Uh, I perform live. I, you know what I mean? I like to do concerts and everything. I'm going to Canada the next month to perform at an outdoor festival. Uh, so I got a lot of things. I like to do a lot of things. But I mainly like to, like to host events and, and turn the crowd up. And everything like that. Montana 300, Kevin. Gates, Migos, Little Flip, Maybach Music, Yada, Tracy T. We've done we've done countless artists, and we're only gonna keep progressing. I've always always enjoyed music ever since I was a little kid, man. You know, I, my parents tried to have me playing violin, you know, guitar and stuff like that. Um, but uh, I really started getting into this uh, the hip hop side of thing, the big entertainment aspect, uh, really in 2015. Really, so January 1st, you know, I decided 2015. I decided like we're gonna really take this serious and really start going hard. And, uh, and so we did. So I mean, we're at where we're at now. I came to be in the position I'm in based off of you know mo mainly hard work, man, dedication. Um, I just kind of kind of started put my foot towards doing what I wanted to do most. What makes me and my music unique is uh, the fact that I promote the luxury life. I promote a different side of the music. A lot of people promote, you know, the violence and the drugs or whatever. And I promote, you know, I like to promote, like, fun, high energy stuff, you know, positive vibes. My target audience is really anybody who's really, like, about the vibe. College kids mainly, because, you know what I mean, that's, uh, that was, like, a period of my life where we had the most fun and everything. So, college kids is mainly, like, my, my biggest target audience. You know? The money's been kind of a challenge, okay? Trying to, because a lot of stuff is, as you know, between, just between studio time and, uh, you know, buying the beat, the least and rights for the beats, or even artwork for your beats, or promotion for your stuff. My inspirations are, I have one particular friend of mine, he goes by the name of Reeves Jr. He's definitely an inspiration of mine. forever, I've been trying to get it. That's my city. Um, definitely, definitely been putting on and kind of helped me build my career. Waterman Productions has actually been a big staple in my career. It actually makes a lot of my beats and everything like that. And uh, once I heard the first Waterman beat, I actually, uh, the song just kind of hits me, hit me right away. I just kind of like felt it, you know what I'm saying? So that was the first like time I connected really with the beat. So music to me means my life, you know what I mean? Uh, like every moment, like if people could, like if I could have background music, I would. You know what I mean? Like the music has helped me, helps me grow, helps people grow. People find, you know, a lot of peace in music. They find energy, the vibes. And like music builds life. So like to me, music is is everything. I aspire like to be like incorrigibly myself. Like above anything else. Like my dad always told me to find something that was you. And people are always like, oh, what do you want to be when you get older? What do you want to be? This? And like my answer was always, I want to be me. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't want to be anything else. Like I don't want to be. A doctor or a lawyer, I want to be me, Buddy Vegas, you know what I'm saying? So, and I just found a way to do that in every day, you know what I mean? It's the kid, baby. We live in the studio right now. So caught up that I forgot my burden. Champagne room, champagne pool.